When it comes to documentary channels, one of my favorite would be Lemino. They make these educational videos on mysterious topics which are happening all around the world. And Lemino has this distorted grainy outer door element which acts more like a frame over screenshots and important clips within the video. And it's really fun. Also, it helps with retention. I haven't seen anyone use these types of borders in YouTube. Well, I have used it once in one of my videos. Wait, let me show you how the video turned out. The new video from Dogpack channel just exposed more about Mr. Beast. We have got a former employee who got treated more like a slave in the sets. We have got more fake videos getting exposed. We have got a registered sex offender who worked as the Mr. Beast company manager. We have also got the Mr. Beast cameraman inappropriately approaching the girls while filming this video. So today let's easily make this Lemino style borders instead of damage resolve. If there are any project files, it will be all in the description. So let's get right into the video. The project setting I'm using is 1920x1080p with 24fps as a frame count. First step would be to go to FX and drag and drop an adjustment layer. Now we need to add a video file. I'm using a clip from our old Iman Gatsi video. Now let's extend our adjustment layer length to this much and go inside of Fusion. The first node I'm gonna use is the color corrector node. This is because in Lemino's video, we can see a desaturated look on the video footages. So let's quickly add a color corrector node and decrease the saturation to 0.44. Then let's slightly increase the contrast to 1.19 to give our image a darker feel. After that, we are gonna decrease the gain to 0.86. Lift can be set to default but the gamma value can slightly be changed to 0.98. And just like that our color correction is done. Now let's create our border effect. For that let's add a merge node followed by a background node and a rectangular node. Let's connect them all like this and after that change the background color to white. Now select the rectangular node and change the border width to 0.017. Then uncheck the solid option so that we will get a rectangular border like this. After that, we need to add a distorted effect to our rectangular border. So for that, add a displace node and a fast noise node. Now connect them both and add it to the rectangular border strip. Perfect. The next step would be to change the values inside of our displace node as well as our fast noise node. So for that, click on the displace node and change the type to XY. Then change the X refraction and the Y refraction to 0.002. What happened here is that the items which are being connected to the displace node will now be distorted to both X and Y axis by 0.002. So we just made our bold rectangle into an elastic rectangle and we can now play around with this shape. But in order to have it an irregular non-repetitive shape, we need to change the values instead of our fast noise node. So now the properties of the fast noise will affect the irregularity of our rectangular border with the help of our displace node. So let's quickly select the fast noise node and change the details to 10. The contrast will be 3.22, brightness will be 0.29, scale will be 40 and seat rate will be 0.3. And after all of that we can see our border with a continuous animation like this. The next steps are really simple. Add a glow node and place it over here. Increase the glow size to 70. Then add a film grain node, change the size to 0.08, strength to 0.5 and roughness to 0.36. But now we need to crop our video and change its aspect ratio. For that let's add a rectangular node and connect its media in to the mask section. And then change its width to 0.915 and height to 0.857. Let's also change the values of our border rectangle to these numbers which is 0.915 and 0.857. Now if we go towards the three dots and uncheck the checker underlay, we can see how our border would look like. So the final step would be to animate these borders so that it will have a start animation as well as an end animation. But we have got a problem. Every time we will have to animate these two rectangles and give them the same values to have an animation like this. And this is really time consuming. So in order to save time, let's add an expression to the rectangles width and height. And this expression is gonna help us control both these width and height values at the same time. This is really helpful because we just have to animate these two and the other two will follow. In order to add an expression on width, let's right click on the width text and select expression from the pop-up option. Do the same with the height as well. Now pin this window and select the other rectangle. After opening them both, let's link these width values by clicking on this plus option and dragging this point to the other rectangle's width. Follow the same step with the height as well. Now to animate these two values, click on the rectangle and go towards the very first frame and add a keyframe on both width and height. Change the width value to 0 and height to 0.887. Then move the playhead to the 15th frame and change the width to 0.925 and height to 0.877. And this is a start animation. 
Now the ending animation can be done with the same way, but if you are following this tutorial, don't pay attention to the frame number I am about to say. Because it will be different for you depending on the clip duration you will be using underneath your adjustment layer. All you have to keep in mind is to add a keyframe 15 to 20 frames away from the last frame. And then move towards the last frame and change the width to 0. If you do that, you will have an animation like this. And in order to smoothen this, let's open the spline window, select the start animation curves, then hit T to open the ease in and out tab, ease in these values anywhere between 80 to 100, and give the same values to the end animation as well. And just like that, our Lemino style animation is ready. You can save this adjustment layer to use it to our other clips. So that's today's video, I hope it helped. Don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye and take care.